Getting a COVID-19 test for your next cruise, a requirement that you just can't skip. Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. All right, today is day 15, 15 more days till our next cruise. And today's cruise tip is going to be schedule your COVID-19 test because it is a pre cruise requirement and if you schedule it ahead of time you know you'll be able to get it so i went on the website of my local pharmacy i'm actually going to be using cvs i know cvs walgreens and other pharmacies do offer free covid19 testing what i did is i went onto the website and i can book an appointment approximately two weeks before i'm ready to test so as of yesterday, I now have a COVID-19 test scheduled for the Friday before my Monday cruise. Scheduling the test ahead of time, if you can, does at least let you know you have an appointment, you'll be able to get in and they'll have a test available for you. I have seen some of the pharmacies running out of tests. So if you can definitely schedule your pre-cruise COVID-19 test, I highly recommend that you do that. Now, while I cannot speak for all pharmacies out there, I can at least speak for CVS and my recent experience with them. I did take a COVID-19 test just a couple of weeks ago. Wasn't feeling that great and wanted to make sure I didn't have the COVID, which I did not. Turned out it was just an allergy issue or a light cold, but I tested negative. But I'll go over the quick process with you for those that aren't familiar. So I did book that appointment as well online simply drove up to the drive through at my scheduled time there at the CVS. They hand you the test kit. You do all of the testing yourself. You take the swab out. You swab in each one of your nostrils. No, you do not have to touch your brain. Then you put it in the little test tube there with the saline solution in it. You seal it up and you drop it off in the lab box there. And then you wait for your test results. It took about 30 hours before I got my test results back. And the website says one to two days before you get those results back. And I do highly recommend you get that test as early as you possibly can to make sure in case there are any delays, you do have the test results before you head to the cruise port. Now you can only do it 72 hours ahead of time, but keep in mind the cruise lines are not looking at it going, oh, you took it 73 hours or 74 hours. It's just got to essentially be three days earlier. So again, I'm sailing out on a Monday. I'm going to take my test on a Friday. That is within that three day window. Even like I said, even if it's off by a couple hours, if it's 76 hours from the time you took the test to the time you actually are going to embark on the cruise ship, what they're looking at is basically that three days. So if you have an upcoming cruise and you do not have your COVID-19 test scheduled, I again recommend, highly recommend that you schedule that out, make arrangements, find out when and where you can get that test, get in there, get that done as early as possible within that three days, give yourself plenty of room to get those test results back. And a secondary tip, for those just in case situations because there have been a couple of stories lately where people have taken the test three days prior like they were supposed to gotten all the way to the cruise port and still have not received their test results so look at the area where your cruise port is for example i'm going to be sailing out of galveston so i'm going to check in the galveston area and see if there are any rapid tests available you may have to pay for this test. If it is a last minute test that you're gonna get the results back in an hour, they're probably going to charge you for it. That is a possibility. Budget for that, plan for that, and know where you can get one just on that off chance that your test results don't come in on time because you don't wanna get all the way down to the cruise port, see your cruise ship, have your luggage in your hand, only to not be able to get on because the lab was delayed and didn't get your test results in time. So schedule your test, have a backup test plan available, and don't miss your cruise ship because I know if I don't get to get on the cruise ship over a test result because I didn't get him back in time, I'm not going to be having a very good day. 
All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this cruise tip video. If you have, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Have yourself a great day, and we will see you out on the high seas.